Okay. Spring break. It's right around the corner. Oh my gosh. Mm -hmm. You don't have to hop on a plane to get away, apparently. No. Joining us this morning with bar worthy travel themed cocktails, you can make it home with celebrity bartender Darnell Hoglin. Yes, yes welcome. Bobby. Welcome, Hi, welcome. Chris, how are you? Hi, ah, we're good Chris friends already. I can already. feel it's going to happen. Yes, sir. Yes, I mean, sir. he brought us to his tiki bar. I know. I love welcome. what you've done. Welcome to my oasis. <laughs> <laughs> this, is my, this is our little oasis. We cleaned up the place nice. <laughs> Before we get to drinks, do you have a favorite dream destination? Ooh. Um, I would have to say back home where the family is in Dominican oh. Republic. Oh. DR. Oh, Feliz Independence Day, by thank the you, way. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> That's right. Can't go wrong there. No, no not at all. Beach, blue water. Not at all. And, and now we're going to be celebrating. We're <laughs> celebrating that warm weather, getting spring break energy going right now. Right. we got some delicious cocktails we're going to be enjoying for spring break. Super easy to make at home. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're going to catch on to the trend that's been happening a lot. We're enjoying a lot of espresso martinis. Okay, so plate, can you right? tell us, this is a tell cold us the cold brew? Repo? Cold brew repo, repo? cocktail. That's yeah. what we're going to be what? making and right here. And it's in here. there, the mist. That's right, there are the ingredients. Lemon it's right there. Oil, so we're going to be using really delicious mezcal called Mezcal Amaras Espadín okay. Reposado. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. Such a beautiful brand. I'm a big fan. I love what they do. They're big on their sustainability efforts. Uh -huh. uh, their entire concept behind it is to go from seed to sip. It's giving love and respect to the agave seed plant. Seed to sip. Seed to That's sip. Right. That's right. Would you categorize this as a smokier one or not as? No, as a softer. matter of fact, what makes this really great is that it's perfect for entry level uh, mezcal drinkers. Because I'm, I'm an entry level. I'm beyond that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you like, you like that Mexico, smoke, right? right? Yeah, I like that, like I like that, that yeah. smoke. That's right, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So you got the whole tour. Yes. That's right. 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 We did a taste Right. So whereas tequila, right, 100% Blue Weber agave, mezcal uses other st other types of uh, species of agave, mm -hmm. and this one in particular is espadine. So we got a light smoky aroma. We got a, um, we got a little bit more vanilla notes, some kind of almost like a smoked wood, if you would, oh, elements with I had no idea mezcal could be so complicated, but like in the it. best possible yeah. way. Yeah. Okay, right. so those were the ingredients. Right. And you're ready put so we have cold brew already in our shaker and we're gonna go ahead and put in one ounce of our lemon oleo so let's talk about oleo yeah, real is... quick oleo sacrum literally means oil sugar I was gonna say is it sugar a hundred percent so it's actually super easy to make at home you just yeah. take a bunch of uh, citrus peels in this particular case just lemon mm -hmm. about five lemons to like about half a cup of sugar or so you can mm -hmm. put in a ziploc bag and what will naturally oh, happen is nice. that the sugar, the mm -hmm. oils, the oils will just come get, out of the right. The it's like the through, like osmosis. Yeah, you can see it right there. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> you get wow. that. You get the extraction of the oil. So now you have a really yummy, oily sugar that has that citrus. He's notes. already figuring out how many lemons he has at yeah, home because yeah, he's gonna right? make this gotta tonight. Make it. <laughs> it's so great to use. He likes to have them in the morning, but I'm gonna do something with these. Yeah, yeah it's so to. perfect to use as well in like mocktails or anything like yeah. that any kind of and in this particular case with our kind of coffee cocktail for yep. the spring break it's going to lift it give it a little brightness Make it a little to bright. it. Mm -hmm. that's right so i have here now some mint mm -hmm. leaves i'm going to add in there just a few more i'm a big fan of lemon you always give them a nice little round you of give applause. Them a little you gotta give them a nice little clap. Nice you know, for doing so yeah. well. What it does is herbs are very sensitive. Right. So a light tap will release yeah, all yes. the oils and yeah, all you already it. smell that. They're not like wood, right? The same thing. Yeah. You yep. <laughs> but, no, but now this coffee. Yes. This is a cold brew? This is a cold mm -hmm. brew. Okay. So you can find that kind of in any store. Or if you want, you can make it at home. Yeah. Um, the recipes are available online, yeah. uh, but it's really just steeping coffee beans. Because you know I would make this with Bustelo. <laughs> and then <laughs> there goes the coffee. <laughs> right? Like this all the way. It's got to be, be concentrated. And then the last thing you added was? So the last thing I added was our mezcal amaras. Espadín Reposado. Excellent. All right, so we're making one here of this, of this bad boy. We're just going to go ahead and give this. Shake, 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 shake. Yeah, we're going to give this a little mm -hmm. shake. Get that ice out the way. Give us. Did you see that? A little tap. Yeah, you know, you gotta put a little yeah, sauce to it. You know what I'm saying? I'm Dominican. I'm Dominican. I gotta, up, but I'm I'm Dominican. I gotta put a little sauce to it. Show up. Can so, show up. Easy, <laughs> easy, light shake. You Would you like to give it a little shot? I'm terrible at this. All right, I'm so it's super easy if you want to make it at home. It's just righty. Are you ready? See? Yeah. Left hand on the bottom, right hand up top. Back and forth rhythm motion. That's it. That's it. You want to create contact from end to end and just kind of break down that ice. We don't have to muddle the mint because, again, you it's delicate, so the ice oh. does the work. Mm -hmm. So we just give it a nice hard shake. You make it look so easy. Mm. You have gotta you get that nice oops, and cold. By the way, 
Say again? Have you ever had an oops in the midst of doing that where kind of something Oh, no. We wanted to do something even funnier, so I was trying to be fancy one time in my younger years with it, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And I'm just like two shakers in, going in hard, okay. smiling, dancing, and coop. Oh, and I put myself <laughs> back. And I'm like, what it's just happened? Worse. Looking around, seeing who took a look <laughs> at that. No one saw that. No one saw that. No one saw that. the chin open. Yeah. So here is so, this delicious, and we're going to move real quick to the next one in the interim time. Right. It is beautiful. That's yeah. right. So we have the Cobra Repo, uh -huh. just a quick garnish uh -huh. right there. We're gonna, with a mint. So we know you, we'll, we'll, we'll sip on that. You one. sip we'll on share. this, because I know you're going to make it tonight. Right. Second drink is? Second drink is going to be, so you ever want to make a margarita at home and just find it a little too difficult to make? Just got to juice everything. Well, the best part is we have a really great great product here called Fresh Victor Craft Cocktail Mixers Fantastic. right here. How's that, Chris? Oh, this is amazing. Oh, I'm happy to Sorry. hear that. <laughs> so what I love I about Fresh share, Victor but... here is an award-winning cocktail mixer. Uses all organic ingredients, cold-pressed juices, perfectly balanced. So it takes all the guesswork out of love having it. to just make any cocktails at okay. home. So what we're going to do is we're going to make ourselves kind of a classic margarita. Ooh. Ooh. We didn't see that. It's all right. You got excited. Right. You know, I'm like <laughs> excited about the classic so margarita. Excited. We're going to do a little classic this, margarita. This it's super easy. It's just a two to one blend of, of your ingredients. Okay. We're going to make you guys two of that. Yeah, Mexican lime and So, Mexican. right, in ratio. And we're going to use mezcal since a, we got such a great product here. Mm -hmm. Why not, right? And I have to say, this drink also has a lot of different layers, layers because yeah. it, yeah. It, right, so what's I'll wonderful, the, glass if you want to try the light vanilla notes, the oak notes, anything. it works really, the smoke works really nicely with the coffee flavors, oh right? Really, a bit, I've never tasted that combination before. Listen, when you make really this works. tonight, make a batch. You make a batch or bring and in bring it. it. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna throw in a couple of raspberries here oh. to make it super fun, fan, like yes. colorful. Oh my gosh. While well, you keep shake, shake, shaking. Thank you so up. much. My pleasure. We're gonna post these recipes to our website at pix11.com.